Hello and welcome to the debut of No Jitter Focus, where each week we'll talk with the author of one of our articles from No Jitter, which is the daily news and analysis website produced by Enterprise Connect for the enterprise communications technology professional. I'm Eric Kraft, publisher of No Jitter and GM and program co-chair of Enterprise Connect. And for our first No Jitter Focus video, I'm delighted to welcome Brent Kelly. Brent is the founder and principal analyst at Kelcor, an independent analyst and consulting firm. We're going to discuss Brent's recent article on No Jitter, Should Cisco Sell or Spin Off WebEx? Welcome, Brent, and thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Eric. It's a real pleasure to be with you today. Thanks. Uh, so, Brent, this is a fairly provocative title. Uh, what's your argument in the piece, or, or what's your thesis about why this might be the right move? Well, I knew that it was going to be provocative. Um, my intent was not to create any discomfort anywhere, particularly within Cisco, but the idea has kind of been rattling around in my mind for uh, actually several years. Kind of the genesis of this idea came as we think about markets and mature markets and how companies react and, and the kinds of things that they need to do. The most successful companies typically will try to be number one or number two in a market. If they can't do that, then often they'll sell off their assets. Alternatively, Cisco has been a company that has been really good at making actions on its products. And as I looked at the communications market, particularly the telephony market, and to some extent the unified communications market, we could see that certainly the the revenues for the on-premises types of solutions were going down, that that was a shrinking market, or at least it wasn't growing very well, and that ultimately you get into a market where there's a lot of um, competition, pricing decreases, margins decrease. And so actually that was the genesis of this, is does Cisco want to be in a market that's like that? Mm -hmm. I guess the second thing that kind of caused me to think about this was a few years ago the focus from Cisco they quit investing as much I'll say in the on-premises version of um, it, their call manager and really kind of quit investing to some extent on WebEx and some of the other collaboration uh, capabilities in favor of sort of this Teams workspace kind of product and solution that's now known as WebEx Teams. And as that level of investment in the other parts of the portfolio decreased, it just occurred to me that I wonder if this might be the kind of a company that might do better as an independent entity. So really that's what caused me to, to think about what I wrote and that's the genesis of, of why I wrote it. Got it. And when you say they were decreasing uh, investment in WebEx, you're talking about kind of the legacy WebEx that, that Cisco well, acquired many years ago? Yes, yeah. So uh, I think we all know that um, what happened is both Microsoft and Cisco invested heavily in, in this idea of team workspaces and, and it was kind of the idea was we're going to completely regenerate and, and create a whole new version of these collaborative products and these team workspace kinds of products of which there will be communications in them. And, and that's what we end up with Microsoft Teams and, and Cisco WebEx Teams. But what that did, of course, is that opened the door to a company like Zoom to come in because people really, it seemed like they just wanted to have a really nice way to do video in a, in a very convenient, easy way and to bring in video units and so forth. And in fact, uh, Phil Edholm and I at No Jitter a, a couple of years ago said that we're not sure that uh, the team workspace paradigm is the right paradigm for the majority of the people who need to have collaborative communications. And I think Zoom has proven that to be correct. So essentially you're saying desktop video, at least the Zoom model of not, as you say, kind of quick and easy, but also freemium and low price. Mm -hmm. Uh, doesn't play to Cisco's traditional sort of high value product and high margin product model that they've you've been using for years. Well, uh, you know, really desktop video is free. If, if you think about it, there's lots of different places where you can go to get free desktop video. And so you have to surround, if you're gonna have a desktop video product or a video product in general, you have to surround that with other things. And of course, Cisco's surrounding that with um, premium endpoints, video endpoints, uh, some telephony endpoints that have video and, and so forth, and then some of the service elements 
uh, that uh, are are there, uh, particularly for large enterprises that need different kinds of service elements. But that's what that's the direction that Cisco has gone down. Zoom has gone down a different direction, uh, one that is more lightweight, easier to use, faster to, to uh, acquire and, and deploy and so forth. Uh, and so anyway, as as Cisco is having some management change over, you know, as I mentioned in the article, Eric, there's been some turnover over the past two years uh, at Cisco uh, in the management. And as we look at the market forces, it was just, I, I just put that out, that article out there as, as a thought provoking message that, you know, it's okay for companies to spin technologies off. If a division is not performing the way that it should, then sometimes it's healthy for a division to be spun off or sold. And uh, it, it's a normal part of doing business. And so that's what really was prompted me to write the article was just all of these things coming together and it just seemed to be a, a good time with a, a new uh, person at Cisco who is ultimately over collaboration and so forth. It's just, is it time to really take a really hard look at this business and see if that's one Cisco wanted to be in for the long term? Okay. Well, it's it's a terrific article. Of very uh, very detailed analysis. It, it, we really appreciated uh, you you uh, sending it our way, and it's we really encourage everybody to watch it. The the card at the end of the video here will give you the the title and the URL for it, uh, and really encourage everybody to read it. It's a great analysis of Cisco, and I think even extends to kind of some of the larger issues in this market. So, uh, Brent Kelly, thank you very much for joining us, and thanks very much for writing this piece. Thank you, Eric.